YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, it's more or less going to be just me talking, a bit of a vlog, going to be whinging a little bit. I'm going to talk about Windows 2009. Came out not too long ago. We're going to install it. We're going to talk about its new features. We're going to maybe tweak it just a little bit. Um, run a couple of tests here and there and, and test it versus some of the older builds. So if you guys have followed a bunch of my older videos, maybe this is a video that you can just maybe, you know, put the phone aside leave it on and just listen in the background. You won't miss out on too much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Maybe you can learn a few things here or two. Anyway, guys, I'm burnt out with a new Windows build. It's just, it's beyond a joke. Like what happened to sticking with a build and then just making it good? You know, we had seven and they just built upon it. We had eight, which was horrible. Then 8.1, which wasn't too bad. Everyone hated the start menu, but on a kernel level, it actually wasn't too bad. Um... You know, they just built upon it and made it all right. Well, all right. I mean, Windows 7 was the last good one. And here's the thing. This is where I'm burnt out. I mean, gone are the, the, the days of um, really, really snappy mouse input. It's just all gone downhill. So honestly, like all we have is security patches now. More bloat. Windows pushing its agenda with the store, right? And I can see, foresee what's happening. You know... Everything's going to be pushed through the store soon, honestly. And soon my Microsoft will monopolize the hell out of it and they will be the monopoly. They will just eventually, everything will be through the store and everyone will be too lazy to get it from anywhere else or somehow Microsoft will lock certain things out. I've started to see this with little things here and there, remapping your Xbox Elite controller. Um, they're trying to push Nvidia through the store. Um, you know, some games you have to get through the store. The fact that Microsoft bought it for Cedar, um, a whole bunch of things, right? Soon we're going to be forced in using the Windows Store um, for everything. And then they can charge whatever they want. Kind of like, you know, the Apple Store on your phone or, you know, the uh, what's the equivalent for Android, um, Google Store, you know. Um, and we kind of really don't have a choice. We're forced to update. We need at least 1803 now for new graphics cards. So Microsoft um, are kind of pairing up with companies like Nvidia and Intel. Um, you need to be on some of the newest builds like 1809 plus for certain motherboards for your network driver to work. Um, it's kind of all again going, going downhill. Microsoft are doing their best to force you on the latest build, whether that's for telemetry backend collection um, or, you know, so they can eventually end up monopolizing and ruling the world. Who knows? But look, my biggest, I don't really care too much what I really care about mostly is, um, you know, mouse input and system responsiveness and just overall performance. Um, things have just gotten worse with the newer builds. And like I said before, I'm, I'm burnt out because I'm sick of there being a new build, a completely new build every freaking year or every six months or whatever. It just gets old, man. It just gets old. And what are they improving? The only thing that I've really seen an improvement with Windows 10 has been generally from the first build was like what was it 15 11 um which was a pretty damn good build actually mind you um you know is multi multi core performance but single core performance has just gotten worse mouse inputs just gotten worse um windows relies so heavily upon the compositor we can't disable that um you know for a raw gaming experience um being forced to use certain things and um having windows update like having windows update and then to a new build right so say you're on 2009 now eventually windows will force you on the newer build and then it's going to reset everything or a majority of things um it's just it's just an overall mess but anyway i guess i'm going to stop whinging and complaining because we kind of have to deal with it right um and in this video we'll install 2009 I guess that's what they're calling it. Um, we'll do some optimizations. Um, we'll, we'll run a, a few tests here and there and we'll compare it with, um, uh, you know, all the build. Um, so I'll test 1%, 0 0.1s with a couple of games. I'll do some uh, rough benchmarks and just kind of chill. I just wanted to kind of record doing this. It's going to be the first time I'm trying 2009. I'm burnt out. I don't really care. Like I have so many people that come into my streams or message on YouTube message me in discord and they get so excited for the new windows builds right um and i just don't see anything to be excited about man like the last good build was windows 7 um you had the option 
um, and for control over our operating system. It was incredibly snappy and simple, um, you know, and the, the old control panel works. It works. Why are you trying to phase it out? Why are you trying to phase it out into some hybrid thing? Make up your mind windows. Either put, completely remove the control panel and make this work or keep the control panel. I mean, everything is backend registry, the same from freaking Windows NT or whatever. I don't know, Windows XP, God knows what. Nothing's really changed. They've just put a fancy UI over it, which just in turn is just, I don't know, guys, you know, the last perfect build was seven for raw FPS and mouse input. That's just what it comes down to. Now there's a bunch of newer games that we need to be on. Um, the latest builds um, to actually good, either get decent FPS because the game's optimized for that build or, um, you know, you'll have issues running with things and you don't really want to be rocking seven anymore, I guess, because of security, but goes security goes hand in hand with ruining, you know, a single core performance and memory bandwidth. Um, I don't know. It's just like, it gets to a point where it's like, whatever, like everyone messages me, like I said, they get really, really excited and they're like, Chris, oh my God, the new windows built. Wow. You know, 2004, we had GPU hardware accelerated scheduling. Whoop de freaking do. What did that do, man? It really didn't do much at all. If anything, it's probably early implementation. The fact that it's not on by default. And now I'm starting to see a whole bunch of YouTube benchmarkers. They don't even have it on. Like when they do the benchmarks like when gamers nexus was doing his um low latency tests they're like we specifically turned it off hmm you know um look there is some exciting stuff but well no there isn't really because it's it's not like and if you look at some games like let's give you guys an example black ops cold war will work on seven because a lot of people are still on seven whether they're bypassing the extended security updates or they're paying for the extended security updates or they're not updating at all. Um, Activision wants to get the money, so they'll make it work for seven. Technically, Microsoft is still supporting seven, so they'll make it work for seven to get their money, but it's not going to run very well on seven. But anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. You can, they can make it one well on seven. They won't. They'll just make it good enough so that people that have Windows 7 will buy the game. Um, but it would definitely run better on 10. I saw exactly the same thing happen with Modern Warfare where first released the game, Modern Warfare came out, ran okay on 7, and then after like season 1, it was just, you know, and they just didn't care. It was just like, they just, we recommend you to be at least on the latest build or 18 and 9 plus. Um, but, I mean, my point being is they could make it work, and I know it's got an outdated graphics driver model. Why doesn't Microsoft just make a gaming OS? Right, completely bare bones, stripped down version. Screw off your telemetry. <laughs> that probably won't happen, but just screw off all the bloat in the back end. Let us disable the compositor. Have default a really good power plan. Have default timer res at the max. Um, just have it really snappy and lightweight. Um, you know, <sighs> we would pay good money for an operating system like that. Uh, one that doesn't change. Maybe one that we just get security updates. You know, people are going to say, Chris, Enterprise. Why don't you just get Enterprise? Even Enterprise isn't that good. It still has a bunch of the bloat in the back end. It just, some of it doesn't run. Some of it does. Um, LTSB was great, which was what, you know, 2015 Enterprise. It was pretty good at Windows 10 version. It's no good anymore. You can't use certain graphics cards. You can't use certain, you know, network cards, drivers. Um, some games won't run at all. Some games run horribly. Um, not all, but yeah, and then there's what we've got LTSC now, which was from 2018 base, 18 and 9 base, I guess. Um, I think that's what some people are using ESL tournaments or whatever, but there's something fishy with that kernel, man. There's just something that doesn't feel right about that OS. I've had blue screens in there where I've never had blue screens before, and it's telling me watchdog timeout, like my CPU voltage, and then but other people can kind of confirm that. It's kind of funky. It's not the answer. Enterprise isn't the answer. We need a gaming OS, but in the meantime, we're kind of, I'm doing content and we're kind of creating our own. But anyway, I need to stop ranting. It's probably been, it's already been 10 minutes. I've just been ranting. Let's look at um installing this thing. Um, So just random Google website. What, what do I new? What do I new changes? So I would at least want to see an updated graphics driver model and bug fixes at least because it's like they're making you build with a whole bunch of bugs and rather being bothered to fix them. It's like, oh shit, we're just doing a new build. Like it's, it's crazy. 2004 had a bunch of bugs, man. Um, 
some weird stuff I would have happen here and there for me. Um, but whatever. Um, what have we got? Use start menu with theme aware tiles. No one cares. <laughs> like, no one, I don't even like this start menu. It's just so backwards. Like, the folders for, like, the the startup are just an absolute mess. They're so hard to organize, right? You have to go on these subfolders and drag things around if you want, and it's just you install a program and it will install, like, you'll show you the folder and the, the it's it's an absolute mess. It's backwards. Um, so I use OpenShell like this, right? Rather than this crap, you know? Um, it's just, bleh. Um, this is my 2004 install, by the way. This is just my, just like, this is my pleb install, guys. This isn't, isn't one of my stripped older versions, which I'm gonna actually going to be going back to soon. Um, alt tab support for Microsoft Edge tabs. Oh, wow. Awesome. Um, how about instead of fixing that, you fix exclusive full screen alt tab black screen with dual monitors that have different refresh rates. That would be cool. Or how about you fix the refresh rate issue when you have two monitors that have different refresh rates and you clone them, so you have a 240 and a 60 hertz monitor, and then all the Windows animations are 60 hertz, not 240. How about you fix that instead? Nah. Um, you know, this is more about touch, touchpad, tablet, <laughs> kind of... Um, <laughs> Um, you know, that's what they're, they're going for. If you want a game, you need to buy an Xbox. Uh, quick access to pin sites in Microsoft Edge. I really couldn't care less. Um, you know, when I see this stuff, all I think is how can I remove all this bloat? Now, for any of you guys new that are watching, yeah, you can completely create your own Windows install by completely modifying a Windows image. Performance differences are like pretty much nothing unless you have a low-end system. It's just nice to remove the bloat and not have it run in the background. Probably maybe in some cases 1% and 0.1% um, lows might be a little bit higher with a completely stripped build, but not by much usually, um, you know. But it's it's nice to have just a really lightweight OS. Um, now, I'll probably look at doing that um, in another video. Actually, I'll do a 2004 complete guide, but now it's just it's just a casual talk over and me kind of going through the motions of seeing what's new. So, Because this is what I do in my spare time, so I thought I might as well just make content, right? Um, anyway, more personalized taskbar for new users. Ooh, no, really don't care. I, I don't like this system of, it's just so backwards. Like I prefer the old, you know, Windows 7 style um, flyouts. I hate the UWP and it's, uh, you know, it's so tied to the desktop compositor too. And all I want in my life is to be able to disable the desktop compositor with, with the max frames in games in Windows that Windows 10. That'd be great. Um, like, as you know, you might've seen my videos before about the compositor, but it's just not worth disabling in 10. So we have exclusive full screen. Um, and then that's completely phased out with DirectX 12. So 2020, good mouse input. 2021, good mouse input, rip. All games are pretty much going to be DirectX 12 now. Making settings even better. Um, cool. No, I don't care. Improving the tablet experience. See what, I'm see what I mean, guys? Improving the tablet experience for two to one devices. <laughs> what happened to PCs, man? Is this all about tablets now? You know, that's what this OS has become, man. Maybe I'm just a freaking boomer, dude, but I am just so sick of this whole touch tablet thing. Oh, this is a PC, man. There is, I know it's like niche, but there is a fair majority of, of PC gamers. And why do we, we have to deal with this shit? Why can't you have a separate version for us? Um, okay, Chromium Edge's default browser. Now, hear me out. I actually like this change. I don't like having to install Chrome, you know. Um, okay, sure. I'm sure Microsoft has some freaking backend telemetry built into their own um, Edge thing or whatever. Um, cool, whatever. As long as it runs just as fast as Chrome, I'm all for it. And that's maybe something that we should do. We should do a few graphical, oh, a few web browser benchmarks. There's some websites you can go to do benchmarks, see which one's quicker. If Chromium Edge, and technically it should be because they're just the same backend, really. It's just Chromium. Chromium is Chromium. Depends on what kind of like flavor you like. Do you like Opera GX? Do you like Opera? Do you like Chromium Woolies? Do you like Google Chrome? Do you like God knows what else? I can't even remember what else there is. But no, this is cool. The fact that you don't have to actually like 
nobody liked Edge. Internet Explorer is like, should be dead, dude. And they can't get rid of it because it's so like dependent on so much of the back end from Windows. And I know this for a fact because I've seen things um, all over the internet before. And when I've ever gone to try to remove it, it's broken things. Um, that are totally, un like you would think that would be unrelated. So, and in Windows 7, if you're actually, Windows 10, you can still use the operating system, but in Windows 7, if you completely remove the Internet Explorer, you literally couldn't use the um, Explorer, like File Explorer. It was just like so dependent on it, it was hilarious. Anyway, modern device management improvements. Um, I'm sure if you're in the IT field, that might be useful. It's not useful to me. Now, that's the only thing that's cool. Everything else sucks. I would like to see some kind of a performance improvement thing. Um, and I would like to see an updated graphics driver model. We probably don't even have that. It's probably the same as 2004. Anyway, enough's enough. Time for me to go install this operating system. And I think I'll have to put that in another video. See you in the next video.